is what it looks like. It just comes in a little thing like this and it says when you catch it on the side. This was $12.99 at Target. Now I've already damped this sponge and I can already tell you it is a lot more dense. And I haven't even wet the Beauty Blender and it's the same size as the Sonia Kashuk one. So the Beauty Blender gets a lot bigger and it's just, it's not as dense. So that's right off the bat what I can tell. And I did damp it because you're supposed to damp the sponge before you apply the foundation because that just helps it go along more flawlessly. So the foundation I'm going to be using today is the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Plus. Now I know that this is definitely a different shape, but you can always use the end the same way and just pat it in. I'm going to do the same thing as I did with my Beauty Blender. And I'm not going to do an update because this is basically just a first impression on if it applies the same way as the Beauty Blender, if it covers the same way. That's pretty much what this video is on. So, just taking the end. And I always just dab four spots on my face. Wow. This is a lot harder. Like, I feel like I'm punching myself in the face. I feel like this isn't going to blend really well. I'm kind of nervous. It's not pouncing on my skin because it is way too dense. Like, if I want to pounce it, I'm going to hurt myself. So I'm, like, lightly tapping it. Yeah, this isn't blending it very well. Let's try using the tip. Oh my god, no. <laughs> it's not turning out well. I feel like you have to use more product too because it kind of just keeps everything in the same place. So you kind of have to just spread it out yourself. The Beauty Blender just, it's so big and easy to use, it's its nothing like this. If you have the Sonia Cash Beauty Blender or you've tried it and you hate it and that's why you don't want to try the be regular Beauty Blender, no, you need to try the regular Beauty Blender because it is nothing like this. I'm actually about to go wet my Beauty Blender and fix this <laughs> because it is not blending it in well. Like, do you see this? You hear that? That's ridiculous. Beauty Blender does not sound like that. And it doesn't feel like that either. It feels really good on the skin. And it's not like you're punching yourself in the face <laughs> with a sponge. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm going to have to get the Beauty Blender to come to the rescue. I mean, it did spread out the foundation and blend it out but it's not as flawless as the Beauty Blender. I kind of feel like this one just puts the foundation in one place and doesn't spread it out. Like you have to add more product to help spread it out. So, Okay, now that I've wet the Beauty Blender, you can see the difference. It's a lot bigger and it's just fuller and it's just softer. This one is like, you gotta use some muscle, but this one is just like, nice. Such a huge difference. I can't even believe how that turned out. I was hoping it would be at least good or at least soft, you know? Like I figured, okay, the probably the problem I'll have with it is the shape of it. I probably won't like the shape. Nope. I don't like it. It's too dense. Okay, so if you guys want my honest opinion, you probably already know what I'm going to say at the end of this video. This is a no. I don't like it. I regret buying it because it's nothing like the Beauty Blender. I was hoping it was at least going to be soft. It's not even soft. I mean, it's nothing like it. It's so insane how dense it is, and it's just not, it's it's just not the same. And you can see the Beauty Blender covers a lot more than the Sonia Kashuk one does. So, I'm not liking it. I kind of wish I would have kept the receipt so I could try to return it or something, because, I mean, this was, it was $12.99, so, I mean, you could spend the extra 10 to 15 bucks and just get this little guy, and he'll be awesome, so... Yeah, I don't like this. It is nothing like the Beauty Blender. They were all right when they said it was not like the Beauty Blender because it's really not. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope it was informative and a little bit helpful. You could already tell what I was going to think about it. My first impression, putting it on, it was just, it wasn't meant to be. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next one.